Hey guys, how's it going on here and welcome to a new Oculus Rift video. Uh, this time we are going to play Euro Truck Simulator 2, which I have played before uh, with the Oculus Rift. And it is so far the best experience of all the Oculus Rift demos, games, which are supported. So it is amazing. It is really good fun. Uh, I'm going to put this thing on and we will continue the let's play um, like we did before. So it's not really like a special... Uh, series or something like that. I'm just going to integrate this within the series itself. I'll do some explaining later so you guys will understand it. Uh, but give me a second here. I'm going to put this thing on. Okay, so here we are. A lot of things are set up differently for the Oculus Rift. This is the special uh, uh, Oculus Rift version, uh, if you could call it like that, of your Truck Simulator 2. Uh, so the menu is different stuff like that but it, it does include the same information so well that is easy of course uh, I actually need to clean my lenses uh, so give me a little second here I will cut this out okay apologies for that um, yeah sometimes the lenses get a little bit dirty and they are blurry so it's all clear now anyway I have driven on my other profile, so I haven't yet driven uh, with this profile. Now, on my other profile, I have a Scania, and this profile obviously has a, an Iveco. So, well, it's going to be new, a new impression, a new truck. Uh, let's see how this truck is going to look. So, I'm just going to press drive and uh, start off where we have left off, and then do some explaining because I definitely do have some explaining to do. Uh, especially about the series and how it will you know how it will go and what are my plans on it with the rift but finally it is here the oculus rift i have talked a lot about the oculus rift in the previous video uh, from the series uh, but finally i have it over here uh, and i have it on my face right now on my head okay so it's actually night time and it is very very dark i cannot see see very well so oh do we have fifty thousand? that's not bad I'm going to put on the engine turn on the engine there we are and turn the lights on well, i need to get used to this cockpit it's quite different but i like it i cannot really see because it's so dark uh, i can see all these dash lights and stuff like that um uh, the interior, yeah, I cannot really see. I can see the bed there a little bit. I'm going to press F12, which will reset my position. And it will also make a screenshot in Steam. <laughs> but anyway, there we are. Wow, so we don't have an objective right now, I think. No, we are in Recklinghausen at the moment. Oh yeah, we uh, upgraded our truck last time, I think. Now let's pick a delivery. Freight marked. Recklinghausen to Essen. Oh, we're going to deliver beer. <laughs> That's a short journey. But hey, I'll take it, I guess. Yeah, let's take it. Right, so we're going to pick it up. Or our freight, our load. Parking brake is still on. There we are, we're rolling now. It's hard to see, why do I have to go? I think it's somewhere over there. Wow, that building looks cool. Oh yeah, it's on the left here. It has to be. There we go. Now I can see a bit better. Yep, there it is. So let's talk a little bit. I uh, received the Oculus Rift. Well, when was, when was it? Beginning of September, actually. I'm recording this right now on Monday. And I received it one week ago, so on Monday. I think it was the first Monday of September when I received it. And uh, boy, was I happy. Of course, I have pre-ordered in uh, uh, the product in June. Oh, uh, in June, um, the 16th of June to be precise. So it was a long wait. But it's here finally. I need to clean the les lenses soon. The thing is, it's it's hot. And this thing is on your forehead. And uh, your forehead gets a little bit sweaty. Even when it's just a little bit sweaty. It just, you know, 
it just transmits it to the lenses and it's on the lenses now so it's very blurry it's like um, in a shower where you have all this steam rising up that's what it is like but yeah as I said it was a long wait but finally I have it and it is a good one as I've said this game is the best experience so far I have had with the Oculus Rift is that green that is green I cannot see. Whoa, that is so dark. It's gonna have to turn. <laughs> Whoa, there we go. But yeah, this game is the best experience. And why? Well, it's because of the 3D model. And it really is like you're driving in a truck. You feel like. Uh, you're sitting really high um, compared to the ground which is obvious I mean it's a truck but to get that feeling is is so weird and awesome like the best thing in my opinion is just the 3d model and the interior like I feel like I can just well the wheel is so uh, it's like it's popping up like like 3d uh, same for the mirrors and it is always like I can uh, I can just do something like this, you know. You see, there's there's some interior over here as well. It feels like I could just lean like that, or um, well, there's a chair which you cannot really see right there. Just do my arm around this chair and then just sit like this, you know. That is really what it is like. It is that convincing and that well, it just really feels like you are driving in a truck. It is unbelievable, and it makes it so much fun. My, I mean. I actually find this, seriously, relaxing. I find this very relaxing. Uh, when I have some spare time, I just go around, play with this, just to, you know, just to have some fun and, I don't know, I've, for me it's like just a little bit of relaxing. Put the radio on. Yeah, we're still going to pick up uh, our freight. Our trailer. See, I can also do that. I can, like that, I can look uh, behind me. It's just so much fun and it is so much better rather than, uh, you know, pressing buttons on my wheel the whole time in order to turn my head. So let's go left here. And I'm gonna quickly clean my lenses again, as they are very, very blurry now. Be right back. Okay. So, uh, there is our... Is that it? Hey! <laughs> oh no, I arrived too late, I think. I think our trailer disappeared, but what is this one? It's to Mannheim. Uh, oh, let's just go. Just go with it. You might be wondering, isn't it like uh, annoying that everything gets blurry and um, you have to clean it? Well, it only happens like three times. After I clean it for the third time, it is gone, usually. I mean, I can already see it uh, right now getting blurry as well. But for some reason, every time I clean it uh, after the third time, it's fine. Hey, that is not reverse. There we are very hard to judge because it is so dark there we go so attach the trailer and on our way to Mannheim and that is going to bring me on to the next subject uh, it's still about Oculus Rift but it is about the series I think this is about episode well I think we're around 20 um, maybe a little bit less than that oh it's hard to judge now I cannot see the trailer I don't know if we're going to hit that fence there like this is so, you're sitting up high, you can see everything really well, you can look around, very cool. But with this series, I am not planning on doing every single episode with the Oculus Rift. I will do it sometimes, but not every time. So what I was thinking, how can I make a nice balance uh, between using the Oculus Rift too many times? Uh, because, you know, watching from a 2D 
uh, screen is good as well because you guys don't get the kind of presence that I have and I have to edit it out uh, because usually with uh, with Oculus Rift recordings you get two uh, two single or two yeah two uh, two screens let's put it like that and um, you have to, I, I edited it right now so it's just one and you can see my face on the right but it's not ideal definitely not so what I was thinking of is um, is every time your truck simulator 2 releases uh, an update uh, play it with the oculus rift that's what I was planning to do because usually there are about two uh, maximum four uh, your truck simulator 2 videos a week so that would actually go pretty well I think and uh, usually I do one recording session and I usually get two separate videos out of that from about 20 minutes long but I cannot really give an, uh, an impression really on the truck yet because I cannot really see so we're gonna have to wait until it gets day uh, daytime again and the sun rises and we can actually see something inside our truck I'm pretty used to my Scania as well so this is kinda new but it's fine, don't worry but yeah, it's so much better rather than you know pressing the buttons the whole time to look around I mean I can also look up now I can look down very nice experience and as I said this is the best experience so far so it's a five hour long drive let me tell you a little bit about Oculus Rift then a little bit more so you might be wondering is it comfortable on your hat well it it is I'm gonna be honest it's not the most comfortable comfortable thing ever to wear um, I mean it's it's kind of big you need to really you need to strap it quite tight around your head because well, you do have the option to to keep it a little bit more loose but the more it's it's pressured on your face the better you are going to see in the distance so it's it's strapped around your head quite quite well it's not like you know it's not like um, it's super duper tight it's just it, it's quite tight um, but always and I've said this in uh, previous videos uh, previous Oculus Rift videos before it is the experience which makes you pretty much forget about everything um, the resolution is uh, full HD but those are the two uh, screens combined because I think there are just two screens in here one for your right eye one for your left eye and your brain um, like it does in real life um, it it puts the two screens into one single well vision what we see you know um, which is I think what the brain does in real life as well and uh, that's why of course when I record you get two separate screens or when I usually record uh, Oculus Rift videos and well it is it is just the experience which makes you forget about everything the resolution yes it's cool it's uh, it's full HD but of course that full HD is divided by the two screens so um, those two screens combined are full HD so one I doesn't get full HD so it is improvable and oh, I need to fuel up soon and you can indeed notice it that the resolution isn't the best I mean it's hard to look into the distance I mean signs alongside the road and stuff like that it is barely readable really you can only really see it clear when you are up close but hey, it's still a development kit. It's not the consumer version, and I expect a lot from the consu consumer version. It's going to be epic, really, with the higher um, resolution. At least that's what I presume they will implant in the CV1 consumer version one. But the experience is so nice. I hope that uh, it's, it, it gets morning soon. Uh, 
Well, it's 30 past 3 at night, so still need to go a little longer before the sun is going to rise. I can read it now. It says 100. So, you know, the distance isn't that great. Uh, 60, 60. I need to slow down. Also, the the numbers which are right now on my dashboard with the ref counter and the speedometer i cannot read that now i must say as well that i am not running this game with uh, maximum graphics in fact i have turned all the shadows off and it's running running quite low as well what i'm trying to do here is i try to get as much fps as i can um, because with the oculus rift it is best to run at 75 fps I'm, I'm not gonna lie, my, my graphics card is the, not the best and I'm just not gonna reach that 75 FPS with high settings. So my settings are turned down quite a bit. Oh, that was the wrong gear. And actually when I turn my head it feels kinda... it's not going smooth, definitely not. Well, once again the experience just makes you forget about everything usually when I turn my head I just close my eyes for a few seconds and then when I stop turning my head I open them up again so it's fine but um, you can get a little bit motion sickness uh, when the FPS isn't high enough and especially at night when you have your lights on the FPS becomes kind of low uh, I can see in the mirror now the Sun rising so that is uh, good Yeah, I can see more now. Oh, this looks beautiful now. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I can see stuff much clearer now. Oh, come on truck. It says 18%. See, that's how clear I can see. Not a lot at all, really. Uh, yeah, it's just a render it is like the render distance is super short so um, well it takes a long time before you can really read any sign and see what it says but still the experience is just so nice look at that once again the 3d model is so great you can really see the depth of the map come on truck there we are yeah, and I'm starting to see everything more clear. Whoa! Whoa! I must say that, uh, well, I've said it before this series, I love the interior from the Iveco. And the Oculus Rift completely confirms that for me. I love it. I do love it. Now that the sun is rising a little bit, we can see much clearer, much better. And soon I can turn the lights out, which will give a few more FPS as well, which is nicer for me. Because I am definitely not at 75 FPS. I'm like at 50 or something, especially with recording. allowed to go 60 here so let's keep it uh, like this wow see this is what i always get on the left here i just want to put my arm down there oh that was my keyboard i want to put my down my my hand down my arm just over there and then just sit like this <laughs> you know <laughs> it is very weird but it feels so realistic and natural that is the word it feels so natural and uh, natural so you almost want to do look at this i can just I'm just gonna sit here for a second, okay? So this wheel just pops at you like you can really grab it and touch it. This gear lever here, like when I put my hand down on my G27 lever, it feels like I'm actually touching the lever in game without my hands, seeing my hands actually. Then I can look over there. I can actually look through my chair as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, look at this. Wow, I'm not gonna lie, this is more spectacular than the Scania actually, I'm not gonna lie, I love this interior so much, 
it feels like a real truck with this this door over there and those mirrors probably having a huge train behind me uh, <laughs> not too bad I think I'm um, need to get a move on see it is so cool just doing that it makes the game a little bit more easier too makes it more easier to uh, really judge the AI their their position but the thing is I cannot read right now the the, the dashboard the digital dashboard I cannot read it at the moment but as soon as I do this you know you can do this as well it becomes a little bit more clear so that is a solution for that problem that's uh, 70 uh, at daytime it is much better though you can really see much better in the distance so I prefer driving in the daytime with the rift rather than nighttime